So this is the turbine down. So you can see the chain drive in here. So this is a uh, treadmill motor, which is a DC brush DC uh, generator in this case, um, which will do a fairly good voltage per RPM. And then that is a standard bike sprocket set, which I've just mounted onto the axle of it, um, just with some nylon, like a like a plastic chopping board, cut with like um, like a, just a circle saw to uh, just as a spacer, and then um, just a, a face plate across here of like see like ground like the um the rim down a bit just so it sits in there um bike chain and then these are scooter wheels which i've put in a like in a drill and then just lathed essentially so cut like profile into them with like just like a wood chisel uh, and those are to tension the chain in to the wheel uh, and then this is like about a loop and a half like a length and a half of bike chain um, wrapped around the wheel and to get that to engage properly with the wheel rim as you can see I have a little difficult to see but I've glued in a length of chain to the wheel rim and then the the chain engages with the other chain basically so because it's spaced fairly um, well, it's the same spacing of chain. It grabs onto those like like teeth, um, and it works okay. Like it's, I can improve on this, but for the time being, it um, it gives a nice result. Where there's like a, a sweet spot where it's um, grabby enough that it um, won't slip much on the wheel. But then not so not so resistant. Doesn't need so much tension that it um, puts resistance on the turbine. Um, this is tuned for it when it's when the vertical's up. So this chain is like a lot tighter than it would be than it is when it's vertical, just because this pole like flexes a bit um, when it's flat like this, which changes the changes the the layout a little bit. Um, so the cables are just standard. Um, Attachments like D clamps, thimbles, um, D shackles, thimbles, um, cable clamps. This is six mil cable. Could have got away with five, but they they didn't have five, so they gave me six at the same price. Uh, everything else is eight millimeter, basically. Um, and then just a diagonal there to keep it all stable. And then I will in future be putting another diagonal up at the top just because it just makes sense to do so. The veins are attached three on three in like a half step out of phase, sort of hexagon basically. So the each set of three veins is connected to each other via the other three veins. So the whole thing is stable in and of itself. Um, nothing, there's no axis on which it can it can move. And then I've sort of just like just locked the, the the contact points together. I've updated the template on the tutorial so that um, these contact points are 60 degrees apart so that you get this nice kind of like you can hexagon it and I've just drilled um, just fresh holes to uh, to to lock that down so to, to count I've just detwisted it and then locked it down untwisted. Um, and that's basically it. So this and then this span is for pulling the thing up. So you've got like one person pulling on that, another person pushing pushing the shaft up. It's um, pretty easy to assemble. And then you just lock this turnbuckle down to the um, the ground anchor through like another another D D shackle. The ground anchors are just well in this case about a half meter of 
Jarrah, Australian hardwood, which won't rot in the ground. They're buried about a half a meter deep. Um, four of those cabled in um, and pulled tight. And that's basically it, essentially. Um, these cuts in the wheel rim are only there because I have cut the, the bottom chain a bit just to give it a more of a kind of grabby profile and by the time I realized I sort of needed to do that it was already glued into the rim so I just angle grinded those which meant cutting through the rim as well so this these the cut in the wheel rim is not necessary that doesn't actually do anything in future I'll just peg out the length of chain and then cut each of those into more of a tooth kind of shape rather than like a smooth shape so that it grabs better and then glue it into the rim um, to be a bit quicker and easier and so, so you can see the the chain a bit better there glued in the bottom one And then this is just for uh, a rain guard. That will be quieter when it's upright because, again, the orientation is, is more sort of tuned. Um, and that's basically it. Um, so next, just need to drill a small hole in the side here somewhere. Um, feed like a length of probably 10 gauge wire down the length of the, length of the pole. And um, attach those into that and then that can be buried in a bit of conduit pipe and taken to the house and charge batteries and do all of that stuff.